Hi, this is David Reed. It is the last Monday of January. I uh, also, in addition to writing blogs and articles and ebooks for mortgage companies, bankers, and loan officers, I also perform online uh, pre licensure education for the 20 hour as well as continuing education, uh, eight hour courses. I do this online. I was asked a question uh, on one of these sessions from an app, uh, a client over the weekend. What was the most important thing that she can learn when becoming a loan officer? And my response was the impact she's going to have on some people's lives. I remember as a young loan officer back in San Diego in the early 90s, a real estate agent friend sent uh, or called me and said, hey, will you talk to this young lady? She's single, recently divorced. She's thinking about buying a home, but she says she has bad credit. I said, sure, bring her in. Anyway, a couple of days later, she showed up. She was probably in her mid-20s. She had a baby uh, in her arms, probably about you know nine, 10 months old. And we talked and, and got to know one another. We filled out a loan application and she warned me. She goes, I'm gonna let you know I have late payments on my credit report. I said, okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna see where you are and put you on a path to home ownership. I faxed the 1003 in order to get a credit report. A few moments later, it came back. And on the credit report, it was fine. I mean, there was a couple of credit cards. I think there was a Dillard's card or something like that, a department store card, an autom automobile loan, no late payments, none. It was fine. So anyway, I, I walked over to her and confirmed it's her social security number and her name and all. And she goes, well, how bad is it? And I says, it's not bad. So I pulled out a piece of letterhead, typed out a pre-approval letter, signed it, and slid it across the desk. I said, you're pre-approved for this home loan. She thought, since she got paid once a month on the 15th, that if she didn't make her payments on the due date, it would show up all as a late payment on the credit report. And that just simply wasn't the case. When I slid that pre-approval letter over to her and told her she could qualify for an FHA loan, tears started welling up in her eyes. I, she didn't cry at my desk, but she got close. And uh, I'll admit it, I got a lump in my throat too. Um, so you, that's the answer to that young lady who was going to soon become a loan officer was the impact that you're going to have on someone's life. You're not going to get that every time, um, but we've been in the business for a while. We've seen something close to that uh, in the past. Hey, keep those uh, video requests video script requests, client requests for blogs and articles coming. Uh, this is David Reed. I will talk to you soon. Bye.